Hi everyone, what is going on? My name is Jamie Palmer and welcome to another episode with the Binary Destroyer 7.0. Now in today's video, I just thought I'd do a weekly recap, show you some of the setups from the Binary Destroyer 7.0 this week, uh, some of the good, bad setups. Now, I just took a buy on EURUSD. Now, I know a lot of BD members don't like the ASI, Acclumative Swing Index. Uh, because it moves, but this is really good for telling us when the momentum is slowing down in a trend. So the idea is when it crosses over the RSI and goes over sold, it tells me that the downtrend momentum is getting weaker and the momentum for a buy is getting stronger. Uh, and as you can see here, we popped a nice little Mogwai signal uh, and I went for five pips with this in and out one to one risk reward ratio. Um, five pip stop loss five pip take profit which was this trade here um and then took a sell in fact let me load up the uh the usd cad i actually took a sell on usd cad and lost it um haven't got a bd arrow that's probably the reason why uh but my logic with this one was Okay, uh, we'd actually come up if i just draw my area here okay you can see how we had a nice support area, chopped around for a bit, broke the support, come back up and retested it. So what do you think is going to happen? A nice little sell trade uh, on USD CAD, which is what I went for. But I went with such a tight stop loss. Uh, it actually, my own fault, took me out, closed the trade at four pips. Now... There's a reason why I've got such a small account. This is my £100 challenge account where basically we had a challenge in the BD group where we take a £100 account and see how much we can do in one week. I think it came third. I did a £150 account or I think I grew it to £150. Uh, and then after that, I gave it to my partner because it's in her name. Uh, and I said, you know what, trade it. Uh, if you make any profits, withdraw it, do what you want with it. And what does she do? She blew the account uh, and now it's back down to £7. Uh, and I said, basically in my YouTube, in my last YouTube video, that I would trade, try and build it up slowly for you on my YouTube videos, show you the setups that I'm taking uh, and the reasons for it. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I managed to get it up to £10.30 now. So I'm slowly getting there, a nice 32p made. Um, but you know what, you know, you got to take what you can with such a small account like this, you know, um, you know, you can't go for big pips um, you just kind of get what you can, one, two, five pips, and then lock in those pips with a trading stop loss uh, and just do what you can. Because once you start building profits up, you can start to risk those profits. But at the start, when you've got such a small account, uh, you know, just take what you can from it. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I have such a small account. Uh, it's just for my YouTube videos. And hopefully I can build it up to £100. That would be pretty impressive. From £7 to £100. And then from £100 to £1,000. And then so on and so on and so on. Um, so yes, uh, U USD CAD. Okay, obviously a sell opportunity. I haven't popped a Mogwai signal yet. Uh, so if I do actually pop a signal, you can see here I had some Mogwai signals here. Wouldn't take them, they don't meet any of the rules. But if I had a Mogwai signal there, it would have been a really good sell opportunity. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was, uh, let me just pause the video for a sec. Yeah, so I wanted to set, uh, show you this sell on EURUSD that happened last night uh, on the five minute charts. Now, again, okay, I know a lot of you lot don't like the ASI, but this filters out perfectly when the momentum is slowing down in a trend. So we had a nice little rally up here, okay, ASI crossed over, went overbought, and we popped a Mogwai signal uh, that was nice, really nice Mogwai signal. Um, I locked in 27 pips with this, so 1 to 3 risk reward ratio, 8 pip stop loss, uh, 24 pip take profit. This trade actually went to 27 pips, but a nice 1 to 3 risk reward ratio. And just want to show you how that ASI filters out. Now, the reason why I show you this trade was because if we actually go over uh, to the higher time frames on EURUSD, you'll notice how it's bouncing between a support and resistance area. It's consolidating, it's ranging, okay? Uh, and I'll just break it down for you, right? Since really March, so since March, as you can see at the bottom here, Okay, since March, we've been range bouncing between the support and resistance. So bounce off support, bounce off resistance, bounce off support, bounce off resistance, bounce off support. Okay, uh, comes back up, bounce off support, comes back up to the resistance line, 
What do you think the next move is going to be? Another bounce down. That is it. Basic support and resistance. Okay, so I was looking for sell opportunities on EURUSD. Um, and what did I do? I went over to the five minute charts and we popped this perfect Mogwai signal. Okay, and this is about being patient. You know, I waited. I waited two days for this setup to happen and this setup paid me a nice, you know, I could have a nice, t t I could have with this setup a nice tight stop loss above the resistance area. So uh, eight pip stop loss I went for. And again, this this trade rewarded me a one to three risk reward ratio. So I was risking 1% to make 3% back. And this is a good setup. And this is why I always try and preach to everyone you know just understand basic market moves market structure support and resistance and you'll find good setups like this um you know i had a loss on usd cad okay again you know the the, the i showed you the setup on usd cad we were at a break and retest of this one and to be honest the reason why this trade lost was because if i just draw a support line here Okay, you can see here, it popped a Mogwai signal from this support line, and guess what, it won. So when we get a break and retest of this support line, what do you think is gonna happen? Price is gonna bounce off it to the upside. Um, but I thought I could maybe get five pips out of this. I didn't, I lost it, so it's my own fault. Uh, but that was the reasoning with that one. Um, uh, and yeah, I might pause the video and come back in a minute, see if there's any more setups, and hopefully I can take some live trades for you. I'm just gonna have a quick scan of the charts. Uh, if I find anything, I'll play the video. If not, I won't. Hi everyone, so I found a nice buy on Euro AUD, and again, notice how the ASI confirms the market was uh, oversold, a really nice setup. Now the way to filter out this ASI, because I know everyone asks, because people hate this, is obviously over time this will move. So you come out and the ASI is, dis you know, it's in the middle now, you zoom in and it's at the bottom. So is the ASI in the middle or is it oversold? Now as a rule of form, what I do, is I zoom all the way in like this and then come out twice um, and I leave it like that, okay? If the ASI is oversold like this, I'll take the trade, okay? Again, um, Mogwai signal, uh, I mean, you can't have a stop loss because this is the low, okay? Um, you'd probably go with, I mean, go with a 10 pip stop loss, okay? 10 pip stop loss. This trade went within the next candle, it hit 10 pips. So that was a nice in and out scout with that one. Uh, so yeah, I mean, not really much setup today. I mean, today's Thursday, market's starting to slow down before the weekend. That's some of the setups today. I mean, we had a nice little, we had a nice little, um, we had a nice little sell here on Aussie US dollar here. I mean, let me just, go over this setup here um again here you see but again this is a nice sell i mean this obviously would have given you your 10 pips if you went for it but it's very hard to tell if this was a trade that i would have took live let me just have a quick look at the one hour charts to see if there was any support and resistance there do you know how i support draw my support and resistance now like line charts like this because it's easier to draw the dips and highs in the market uh, if i just go over like this okay you'll see what i mean every time you get a nice little area of support and resistance you can just draw lines like this here it's probably best if i did this on the five minute charts um where was that set up i think it was that's a nice so let me just have a quick look. Right, okay, so we had a sell here. Have we got support and resistance around this area here? No, in fact, no, we haven't. Okay, uh, nice sort of buys there, some sells there. Have we got a support and resistance? In fact, we might have a support and resistance. Uh, here, this would have been a nice little sell here. If I just look, bring this up like this here, okay? You can see here how we rejected before from this zone, okay? You wind the clocks forward to 
here and guess what we've got another sell opportunity at this resistance now this is interesting you actually go back to the candlesticks and you can start to see the setups that you would take and wouldn't take based off support and resistance now this is again another good setup because the asi has gone overbought now again asi is overbought we're at a resistance area how do you take this trade you know a support resistance i mean above the high so 16 pips stop loss this trade easily went 40 pips now it's very difficult to say if i would have took this in a live market dish condition only because over time the asi moves uh but i mean this is really good for filtering out setups like like you see with this setup here okay in a live market condition the asi really does filter out the setup so yeah that is some of the trades in this week that's happened with the binary i hope you enjoyed today's video if you have any questions drop me an email the binary at gmail.com